Microservices. This is a modern service oriented architecture that utilizes flexible and independently deployed software systems rather than a monolith architecture frame. So, rather than have the entire software architecture developed and deployed as one unit, we would instead have the architecture frame broken into small and independently managed units of software system. This affords us a number of benefits. The first is, it makes the application system easier to understand, develop and test because we will be dealing with smaller system units. Next, it makes it easier to scale and improve upon existing architectural frames where rather than working on the entire monolith structure which could be cost ineffective, quite difficult and take up a lot of manpower in the case of huge software systems, we could instead have the system in smaller units with individual teams of specialized engineers focused on improving and upgrading these units independently. With regards to integration, microservices allows for teams to utilize multiple programming languages to independently build and manage isolated subsystems, which can then be coupled loosely together to build up the entire software system. What this affords the team is an opportunity to utilize the unique perks of each language in optimizing different units of the software system. Another benefit of using the microservices architecture is efficiency. This stems from the fact that we can have parallel development where rather than deploy the software as a large chunk, each unit or subsystem can be developed side by side by different teams. This helps minimize time loss to blockers and technical debt. The microservices architecture is relatively new. However, we have a number of mature technologies supporting microservices. Major amongst these are RESTful and GraphQL. They utilize different algorithm structures with service mesh technology that runs different containers where each system software unit is housed. These containers are managed by orchestration tools such as Kubernetes, Docker Swarm, and DCOS. So, these serve as a loose connectivity platform to manage the microservices through their development and deployment phases. With these, Processes involving microservices can be easily and efficiently managed using DevOps processes. A number of tech giants are utilizing microservices. Notable among these are Amazon and Netflix, who are consistently disintegrating existing large chunk of software into microservices. Some of these are getting deployed as open source software to allow for scalability, faster upgrades, and improvement. So far, this has worked fantastically, and a host of others are adopting the microservices approach. Microservices have only been here a short while, and due to the massive benefits they bring to the teams and products, it's safe to say they'd be here for much longer. Hence the importance of beginning to implement this in your organization. I hope you've learned a thing or two from this. Thanks a lot for watching.